Hey everybody, this is Joshua with Critter Call. Um, this is going to be our inaugural video, first ever video on our uh, Critter Call YouTube channel. So you can check us out here on YouTube, Critter Call on Facebook, Instagram, CritterCall.com. Um, we're kind of all over the place. Critter Calls have been around for 40 plus years now. They are the original open read predator call. We actually have the patent on them. So um, I've been getting a lot of questions lately, emails and phone calls and Facebook messages, Instagram messages. Um, hey, what is a critter call? How does a critter call work? What does a critter call call in? How do I call that stuff in with a critter call? So as opposed to taking the time to answer all of those questions a couple hours a day, I figured I'd sit down here and make a five minute video, introduce the critter call, show you how to make sounds on it, talk about uh, what sounds are going to bring in predators, um, and just basically introduce both Critter Call and, uh, and the calls to uh, YouTube. So without further ado, uh, I'll grab one of these calls and we'll get to talking about it. Um, first of all, I want to talk about uh, where these things are made. These are 100% American made calls. We own the molds, they are molded by a company out of Fort Collins, Colorado. And then they are assembled by the finest child labor force ever assembled, uh, our five children in the basement of our home here in Loveland, Colorado. So they are 100% American made by Americans. Uh, and they've been that way uh, since the inception. So they don't come in a box from China. They don't come from Mexico or Bangladesh or any of that, man. They come from right here in Colorado. We're Colorado proud. Um, and they're going to stay here for a long time. So. When you order a Critter Call, you can order it again, CritterCall.com or any of those places. Uh, it's going to show up, it's going to look like this. Now when you see them at places like Sportsman's Warehouse or, or some of your other uh, uh, sporting goods stores, they're typically, typically going to be in a clamshell, but it's all the same. So I'm going to pull this stuff out and show you what you get when you get one of these, when you buy these calls. Um, the first thing that comes out of the bag, as I drop the call, uh, there's a book. About 20 pages. It's got some great instructions in it. There's the call, obviously, and we'll talk about that in a second. And then along with the call, you get some extra reads of different thicknesses, uh, different materials that make different sounds. You get an extra read block here and one of these rubber bands. We'll talk about one of these bands too here in a second. So let's get back to the call. This is our standard call. Uh, it's a little smaller than a 12 gauge shotgun shell. Um, it's got a call body right here, that's this tube. It's got a tone board, that's this mouthpiece right here. Then it's got this reed. The reed vibrates and makes a sound out of here. You can see it kind of looks like a clarinet mouthpiece, right? It's a reed instrument, okay? The way that it works is you put your teeth or your lips here and you pinch down on that reed. And the further you move toward the tip, the higher the pitch further you move toward the call body or the barrel, the lower the pitch. So to get started, all you're trying to do is make a sound, right? It's going to sound like a kid's party favor. You ready? Pretty simple. You're not going to call on a lot of coyotes with that sound, but it's the place to start. So practice just getting it to make a sound. Now as you can make those sounds, what you learn is you can move it further toward the tip, you can move it further toward the barrel, uh, and it's going to change that sound like this. I don't know if you guys can hear that dog barking back there, but that dog doesn't like it, and that's kind of the point. So as you can get to being able to make those different sounds, Now you're going to be able to, to change your pitch, change your tone, um, and make those predator kind of sounds. Now, the way these calls work uh, is they make prey distress sounds. Cottontail getting eaten, jackrabbit getting eaten, fawn getting eaten, uh, coyote pups getting uh, beat up, those kinds of things, right? And for the most part, those things sound just like a baby in distress, right? Human baby, what do they do? They cry, wah, 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 wah. When they're really upset, they cry really bad, wah, 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 right? They're distressed, right? They want mom to come help them, right? 
help me, help me, help me. That's what this sound is making. So in order to do that with one of these calls, we're gonna have to use our hand and our mouth and control our air to make these sounds the same way they do when I when you make that sound wah, 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 right? You blow harder at the end, you open your mouth, right? You're gonna do the same thing with your hand. So the way you hold this call, you say okay. Put the barrel of the call on the end of it, and then you cup your hand like that so you can still see through it there. You close and open your hand. That's gonna work the same way my mouth does when I'm making sounds, right? Acts as a baffle, changes the back pressure. Right? So let's try that. Let's make one constant sound, that same <coughs> sound that we're making, right? <coughs> About right there. Okay? Now we're going to put our hand around it. We're going to kind of close our hand and we're going to make that constant sound and listen to it as I open my hand. It's going to make a completely different sound. Help, help. And the way that I do that is I just blow a little bit harder as I open my hand. Or deeper down on the tone board. More dogs barking. We may call in a coyote out here. There's been a few around here lately. Um, and that's just your basic sounds. So when you're trying to make a prey sound and you're trying to get something to, to come to you, right? It's gonna come for one of two reasons. Number one, it's gonna come to make the situation worse, <laughs> right? It's gonna hear a rabbit going, help, help, help. And it's gonna go, ooh, I'm gonna go eat that rabbit, right? Coyote's gonna go, ooh, that sounds like a meal, right? Or the second reason is it could come to help, right? You make some pup distress sounds. Mama Coyote could come in and go, hey, who's messing with my pups, right? You make a, a fawn sound, wah, wah. Mama Doe is going to come in there and they come in pissed. <laughs> Those old does, man, they do not like that sound. Um, so they're coming to help. So we're going to make these prey distress sounds, higher pitched sounds for smaller prey like rodents or cottontail rabbits or prairie dogs or something like that. Kind of middle of the road here for things like jack rabbits, antelope fawns. And then we're going to run it clear down here on the end for bigger prey stuff like deer fawns or elk fawns or bear cubs, those kinds of things, right? So here we go. I'm just gonna make your basic, most basic of all basic prey sounds, right? Just like a jackrabbit getting eaten by a coyote. Okay, so again, okay, I'm gonna put that in there, right? We're gonna put our mouth about right here. You can use your teeth, or you can tuck your lip up under your teeth and press down on it like that. Okay, ready? Now I get that wah sound by just shaking it around in my mouth a little bit like this. Right? Just adds a little bit more inflection. Something that's getting eaten by a coyote isn't going to be like wah, wah. It's going to be like wah, wah, wah. Right? It's going to freak out. So we need to add a little bit of that inflection. That's the beauty of these open read calls. Can't do that very well with a closed read call um, or an electronic call. Right? You can't change it. It is what it is. These you can change these around. They never run out of batteries either. <laughs> So if any of you guys have ever run an electronic call, you know how that goes, man. Invariably, that old Murphy guy is going to show up one day and he's going to, and those batteries aren't going to work. So even if you prefer electronic calls, and I still use them, I use them at night. Um, I'll use them for locating sometimes. I still like electronic calls, but I always have a critter call. I've had one in my truck for about 30 years now. So um, they're great calls. Once again, you can find them, crittercall.com. You can check us out on Facebook, Instagram. Um, you could send us an email. We're all over the place, man. We've been around for 40 years. So, critter calls. That's what you're trying to make it sound like. We'll do some more videos down the road on some other advanced sounds. We're going to try to put one of these out every week. You know, we can talk about making coyote sounds with these things. Right? Um, cougar chirps. All kinds of stuff with them. Right? They've called in just about every animal on the planet. Uh, from Alaska to Africa, um, all over the place. So check us out. Again, CritterCall.com. And we'll talk to you guys next week. Good luck out there calling. Be safe.